Welcome to UT's testing platform, UT Udang. You must have received login message from Universal Tutorials, which states the login ID and password of a student. The student has to use this login ID and password to log in to the student portal as well as to the UT Udan platform for taking online tests. Where to find the link for the online testing platform? You can find this link on the WhatsApp description box or you can log into the student portal and find the link in the menu option online testing. You can also click on the UT Udan icon on the right hand side of the student portal. This will take you to the online testing platform UT Udan where you have to log in with the same credentials. Once you have done that, the dashboard, the first page of the portal, which shows you different types of exams. Okay, it shows you available exam, history tab, and upcoming tab. Now, in the available tab, you are shown all those exams which are currently open for you, and you can take it right now. Second, you have the history tab. Once you have taken all the exams already, taken exams or automatically shifted to history tab from the available tab. So if once you've taken the exam and you want to see the corrected paper, you will find that specific paper in the history tab. Then we have the upcoming tab. Upcoming tab shows you all those exams which are scheduled for you for a future day, which are not available right now. Okay. So if you wish to take exam, you have to go to the available tab and you have to click on start exam now before that one more point i would like to mention that in the available tab you will be able to see all the tests open how to search for a test so if you see for every test we have got four digits code you can put the score in the search box and you can search that specific exam easily once you have searched it you have to click on start exam exam starts this is the instructions page you have to click on start exam this is the page where your actual timer starts now on the left hand side you are able to see the timer the timer for online exams and offline exams is different for offline exams if the test is for 30 minutes you have exactly 30 minutes but for the online exam if the exam is of 30 minutes we give you some extra time because you need to upload the papers so the exam time for the online exam is included with uploading time if you are unable to upload your documents within the given time the test gets over okay so you have to make a point that you use the complete time for writing as well as uploading the paper then you are able to see the general instructions. After that, you see a URL. This is nothing but a PDF of the question paper. You click on it and on the, in the same browser, one more window opens with your PDF, right? This is your question paper. Now on your browser, two windows are going running. One is your online testing platform. One is your paper, right? Please do not close your online testing platform. Otherwise, your exam will get over right so you have to keep both the windows open and you have to take the paper once you have completed writing click photos convert it into pdf and you are ready for uploading now here we request that if ever you have written five to six pages please combine all those pages and create only one pdf do not upload two three pdfs combine all the papers and upload only one pdf once you are ready with the pdf and you are ready to upload Click on choose file. Dialog box will appear. Click on browse. Find the file which you wish to upload. Click on open. Once you click on open, you'll be able to see the name of the file and a progress bar. 
Once the uploading is complete, a green tick appears near the complete tab. That means your file is now uploaded. The same name appears here on the main paper page. If you find that this is incorrect file, you can just click on this cross and you can choose another file. If you're good to go, you can click on end exam. After that, it asks you, do you want to end the exam? Click on end exam. Then you can click on review results. Since the paper is subjective, immediately you won't be able to get your score, right? Right now, it will display any. Then in the answers tab, you will be able to see the question paper, your uploaded file, and the model answer. These three things will remain here for the whole year. Okay. In the mark section, right now you won't be see you won't be able to see anything because it is submitted for grading. Once your papers are corrected by the tutors and they are published, you'll receive an email that so-and-so paper has been published. You can again log into your Udan portal, go to the history tab, and then you can see that the score is updated. You can click on review results. And after clicking on the same answers page where marks were not given, now the marks are awarded, and here your uploaded file is now replaced with the corrected file. That is your file is annotated by the tutors and you would be able to see it here. You have to click on it and download the file. You would get your corrected answer sheet. For any clarifications, we have our, your central helpline number and the email ID. You can anytime connect with us on these numbers, right? So here I complete with the second part of orientation.